Hello, Alex is EDC Army, and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such, where the such stands for EDC gear. Today is a knife versus with three knives that I am borrowing from the YouTube Unboxers Pass Around group. The Ketuo, it's K E T U O, Griffin, and M390 Titanium Scales, Carbon Fiber Inlay, Titanium Clip, Titanium Backspacer. Button lock, front flipper, regular flipper, thumb flick, reverse thumb flick, flick. You can do it like this also. You would hold it like this, like this, like this, and even like so. Then we have the Tempest Knives Jet Stream. I like the way they did the um, flipper tab. It's very unique. It's not focused. Oh, there it goes. And nice, look like an orange in the peel. I mean, in the um, pivot. It's titanium scales, which is kind of blurple. The right light, it's blurple. Let me see if my um, flashlight, my baton 3, will pick that up. Mm, not really. In person, it's more blurple. It's a little blurple ish. A titanium clip, titanium backspacer with a lanyard area. This has a lanyard area too. This proto is in D2. And go back to this real quick. This is two way pocket clip, tip up, right or left. This is tip up, right or left also. Let me get the steel that it's going to be with the final product. Let's go Tempest Knives. Jetstream. The pre-order I think is closed. Let me check. You can flick it like... I'm not going to do left-handed because it goes down too far with the tip of the blade and it cut my finger a little bit. It's sold out, but pre-order closing at 8-16-2023. It's $129.99. Made by Knives Fast, KC at Knives Fast. It is 8-inch overall knife, 4 and one half inch handle, and 3 and a half inch blade. Scales are contoured and will have diagonal micro-milling lines. All screws are titanium and T8. The blade will be 154 cm and made by Kubi in China. It's really a good knife. Frame and stonewash blade. Frame lock. It is a frame lock. Uh, well, that's the production line is going to be frame lock, but. I think this is a liner on the actual budget. I mean, on the actual Proto D2. But it's a very good knife. You'd hold it like this, like this, or like this. Let me keep all these open. And the Devo Stout V2. Devo is a company that is owned or co-owned, I believe it's co-owned, by Lefty EDC, which is Kevin. It's purple fat haze carbon fiber with a satin blade, um, hand rub satin, I believe. It has two-way pocket clip, tip up, right or left. You can flick it like that. It's really good.
you can go like I'm more cautious with knives in the left hand because I don't want to cut my finger like I did. It's healing, but it's right there. And you would hold it like this, like this, like this, maybe like so, if you want to go like that. And it's really good. It has titanium, backspace with lanyard area, frame lock. Let's show all the um, centerings. The centering is good. Can I get it? Camera's not focusing. Okay, good centering. So it rolls good. A little bit of blade play, and I tried to tighten that, and it wouldn't go. So I don't know if it's just on, just needing Loctite or what, but it's centered. No blade play on the Tempest Micro, I mean Tempest Jetstream. Microburst, if you want to get one by Tempest Knives, is a very good knife also. So, you can check it out too. Centering is great. Very great. I can't get it to focus too well. Great. And then the Ketuo, or how, how do you say it? Let me know in the comment section below. K-E-T-U-O, Ketuo, Griffin, is very fidgety. And there's no blade, wait, there's side-to-side -side blade play. So let me see if I can fix that real quick for you guys. Because if I can, then it will show me that it's a good knife. I do like the knife, by the way, anyways. Very futuristic. In my unboxing, I was wowed about it. Yeah, I don't have, I would have to have the tool to do that since it's, see, maybe a flathead. So I'll try that after the video because I don't have a flathead on me. It's other part of my living area. But it is a very good knife. Centering is great. I went on a walk a couple days ago, and I carried this knife, and it was really good in pocket. Oh yeah, this goes up to here in pocket, so you have this much sticking out. That's the Ketuo Griffin, the, the Tempest Jet Stream will be this much in pocket. And the Devil Knife Stout V2 is this much in pocket so they're not really deep carry these two and the couture they're all three not deep not deep deep carry the button lock is awesome let me get some knives for our size comparisons but let's first show these three together i do tip to tip that's how i line my knives up i think that shows the overall goodness of how it is and let me test this out again um the Katuo griffin is the bigger of the two then goes the tempest jet stream and then goes the devo stout v2 i could finish with that devo all day it's going to go to, hopefully, he gets a lot of sales and it goes over well because it's a really good knife. Also, you can get different color carbon fiber uh, in, um, car, uh, haze. I don't know what, well, it's carbon fiber in colors other than the black. They have purple. They have other colors. Just check the website. Or if you're at Blade Show next week, I believe it is, check it out too because he's going to be there with his, um, setup. Let me get some other knives real quick. I want to get two knives and then we're good. I'm going to start with the Rough Rider in VG10. It's the RR2164. Let's move these out the way. 
the Devo Stout's bigger. Now let's do the Alien Knives Mini DX2. Smaller is the Alien Knives Mini DX2. The Tuo Griffin is probably gonna is definitely gonna be bigger than both. The RR2164. Yep. The um it's bigger than the um alien knives. And let's see. Even bigger than it's the um, Tempest Jetstream is bigger than the R Rough Rider RR2164, and the Alien Eyes Mini DX2 is smaller. Okay, let's start with the Katuo Griffin. You see, it has this finger choil area, it's a little squared, angled that's a better word. And let's see if that um, affects it from cutting because. Of it being um, caught up in that finger choil. I got more of these priority mailboxes that I can cut up. So let's go with that. Oh, ho, ho, M390 laser beam through it. If you don't, if you don't go too low, you won't have a problem. Let me try it one more time. Let me do the tip wise. Tip works good. Let's do one more cut. Let's go lower. See, you got to get the tip. Not really. You have more control because the the um uh, blade edge is not all the way to the. Well, not really to the, um, it is to the, um, thing, the finger choil. But the finger choil is made in a way that it's not going to affect it in my cutting portion. So that's a plus. Let's go with the Tempest Jetstream. Now oh, it's a good knife. Let's see how it cuts. Okay, it slides through that. Okay, let's go downward. It cuts real well too. Not as good as the Couture Griffin, but still really, really well. Now let's do the... um. Devil Stout V2. Let's cut it. Hmm. I don't know. Let's maybe we need a bigger piece to do. Going down is good. Oh, I cut through that bad. Let's do this piece and let's see if it's any different. It's a lot more tougher to cut because it's a lot thicker, I guess. It's not the best cutter. Let me try one more time to see the final thoughts. Yeah, it's a little tough going through, but it's still good. That's the Devil Stout V2. Devil Stout V2 will come out between February and March of 2024. And OEM is best tech. Let's go with the rating of the Devil Stout V2. You feel this a little bit, but it's not going to be affected, affecting you 
to not use it. Action is good. Opening and closing is good. It's a really good knife and I like it. I look my rating on the low side is a uh, nine point seven, nine point eight. And on the high side, a 9.9. .9. It's really good. Really good. Good stuff at Devo Knives and Lefty EDC. Now we're going with the Cthulhu Griffin. Fidget Factor. Means of deployment is uh, 15 out of 10. So good. Oh, don't bounce it though. Watch. I'm trying to mess up. Holding it. You'll feel this part a little bit, but it's not a deal breaker. This is how my hand fits in there. Really good. And you go choke up. So like this, like this, like this. Like this, and like this, if you want to have precision. So my low rating, my rating on the low side for the Cthulhu Griffin is, let's, let's hold it and see. On the low side is a 9.8, 9.8 out of 10. On the high side, a 9.9. .9. This part is a little rough and a little um protruding but it's still a good knife it's well worth the money Cthulhu griffin now the tempest jet stream which is made by kc over at knives fast his brand and company tempest knives you can see their logo let's see if it will focus At first, I wasn't sure what to think about this knife when I got it. And I was like, will I really like it over the um, Devo Stout V2? And yes, I do. I don't know if it's a flipper tab or what, but it just is, is better to me. Let's see. In hand, I think the Devo wins, though. The Devo Stout V2 in hand is better, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it is. But you're always going to feel some of the scale, so that's going to knock it. But when you bear down, it's not comfy, so I'm going to give it on the low side a 9.7 and the high side a 9.8. Because this part is not as comfy as all. If you bear down, it's very it's kind of painful. You might have that fixed on the production, on the full production models, because I read it's going to be contoured scales. So that might help better. I don't know. But the metal, the titanium, just, mm. but overall, it's a good, good knife. And I like how he put the flipper tab as uh, in the little angle area. Overall, you can't go wrong if you have any of these knives. The Tempest Jetstream, Devo Stout V2, and Cthulhu Griffin. Now first, it's a very young um, like decision. I put the Cthulhu Griffin first. And the tie for first is the Devo Stout V2 and the Tempest Knives. Jet stream. I couldn't fully decide which one is fully better, but they're both in the in the top goodness. Whatever you get, you can't go wrong. This will be 154 cm. The Cthulhu Griffin is M390, and the Devo Stout V2.
let me make sure I'm saying it correctly. It's going to be Invanex Super Clean Steel. You take your pick and what you like better. Let me know what you think of these knives if you ordered them or have handled them in the comment section below and how you like them and how they work for you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Even dislike. Have a great day. Be safe. Subscribe to my channel for more to come. Look out for the guy girl to your left. Look out for the guy girl to your right. Hashtag be up. Hashtag DSKFS. Choose love, not hate. Enjoy your friends, your family, your pets, your yummy food, your music, your video games. And remember to use your sharp blades. Bye.